I know the guys with the big amps are all using them, but us guys with the little amps can use stomp boxes also. And I just got the Ibanez Turbo Tube Screamer. This box is a lot like the old TS9, but they've added some more controls to hop it up some more. The drive knob controls the amount of distortion and adds sustain as you roll it on. The mode selector is new and has four settings. The turbo produces a lot of bottom end like the heavy rock tones we use today. Hot adds some more mid ranges to it, plus it's described as grittier than the original TS9, and the TS9 setting emulates that old TS9 sound. The level dial controls the actual volume coming out of this box. And this dial is totally independent to the other ones on the box. The tone dial has a surprisingly big impact on the overall sound and lets you decide how muddy you want the sound or how bright you want the mid and higher end to be. And the tone dial works in whatever mode you're in, so you can really fine tune all of these modes to the way you like it. And they use a full pedal for turning it on and off rather than a button, and I really like that. And you notice they put all the knobs on a ledge that's lower than your foot goes when you're turning it on and off so you can't mess up the controls. Like many stomp boxes, you can run this one on a 9 volt exterior power supply or on an internal 9 volt battery, and Ibanez even gives you a battery. We're going to try the different modes without changing anything on the guitar or amp. Right now it's in the turbo mode, and that brings a whole lot of bottom end in. There's so much bottom end coming through this pedal that recording it for video really takes a lot of that away and it sounds more muffled. Now we'll change it to the hot mode and that brings in more of the middle tones. I'm not changing anything here but the tone dial is fully functional in all of these modes. And now we'll change it over to the plus mode. This is described as being a lot like the TS9 mode, only a little grittier. And now we'll go to the straight TS9 emulation. You notice a drop in volume, but I haven't touched the level, so we can't crank this up. It's just to show you that there is a completely different tone here. We have to remember that when you record something like this for the internet, we lose a lot of the tone quality, so it's a lot harder to tell the difference than it is in real life. So if your amp doesn't have a distortion channel, or you just want to get more, you need to try the Ibanez TS9DX. This thing doesn't cost a ton, but it does a good job and it's very adjustable.